and she was talking for the ladies. So I was saying that when you go into a relationship, even a friendship, define it. Because sometimes the men, their backgrounds are different. Some of them, they are the only boy in their family. So the rest are women. So they know how to naturally treat every woman. When the sister is sick, they know how to treat. So sometimes he will be giving you some treatment. You, you haven't received it before. You would think that it's a relationship or he's trying to give you. And we also have our love languages. I mean, every woman. So when you are being treated in a certain way, you feel like but maybe he's naturally that nice person who will do it for anybody. So define it. Okay. Where are we going? Is it just platonic or we are going somewhere? Is it a relationship? Don't think the person has the, um, maybe disappointed you because in play this, we like to say that. We say that, oh, he, he just led me on and he has left me. But that might not be his intention. He has a clear good. And Archbishop says something. He said that you can meet two good people like yourself and that man. You are all good, but you don't, you are not compatible or you don't click. So the compatibility should also be there. You have to be compatible but how would you know you are compatible many a times they say that unlike poles attract sometimes you see that you are totally opposite you see a couple one is indoor one is outdoor but they are they've lived their life so many years and i can give that example so many examples of couples the man is probably indoor but the woman is outgoing will be talking to someone but the man is so quiet and you wonder how they live together but by God's grace, they are living, they are compatible and they are going. So know your partner's also temperament. There are different tem temperaments. We have the choleric, we have the melancholic, we have the sanguine, phlegmatic. Know which temperament the guy is or the person is or your friend is. And first of all, you have to be friends before something can happen. If you don't befriend a friend or you don't marry a friend, then it's like you're not going some way i don't know if you get it because if you get to know someone that is when you can make a, a concrete decision that i want to be with that person so the person has to be a friend know the person then you know that okay i can live with this person or i can live with us so some people because of social media some people meet on social media and somewhere somehow fine as he, she said we've met and we are clicking so maybe they can they can meet and once a while and then they will start going along. Fine. If you prayed about it, God is leading you to the person. Kudos. You go with it. But still know the temperament of every person. And the counselor also says something. That whatever you saw in the relationship is what you will see in the marriage. So if you don't like something, you correct it in that friendship or the relationship before it enters the marriage. So you don't wait and think that, oh, the person will change. It might never change because that is who the person is. So it's either you learn the, who the person is and you adjust and cope with that person because it might be temperamental and it's not easily to change temperamental characteristics. No. It is something that is part of him. It's inbuilt. He is phlegmatic. He is phlegmatic. He is choleric. He is choleric. He is sanguine. Hey, hey, hey. He just go happy, lucky person. But maybe you are not like that. So you live with it, you are just, you know the person, then you go according to it. And like she was asking, I'm Pebbles, I have a foundation, Wind the Soul Foundation. We go around, we speak to young people like you. So we have a project channeled in different ways. We have the prisons one, where we go for evangelism and all that. And then we also have the schools one, where we get time to speak to young people about career, inspirational talk, encourage them. Also give them, if it's menstrual hygiene projects, we give them sanitary towels afterwards. We educate them and then give them some sanitary towels. If it's mercy seat conference, after everything, we pray with them in line with the spirit and everything. And we also have Christmas programs we do. It also cuts across orphanage, prisons. And we've been running this since 2014. This year is our 10 years anniversary so I was telling her we, we might come here because I think we like the venue but I'm going to propose it to my team if we agree it will be something cute but just to let people know how far we've come and where we are going because their passion is there when you go and check our bank account there is really nothing but because of their passion so we are still running and I share inspirational messages we have three Windows so um, YouTube channels we have Windows Soul Foundation 
Pebbles PBN Network, Inspirational Pills TV. They are all on YouTube. When you go there, you will get some of the inspirational messages there. And be encouraged, everything will be fine. Yes, so that's the thing I have to say. I think I really agree with what you said about not, not assuming. Not assuming. Even if the. Anyway. There's a trauma that situationships bring where any new person that comes into your life and is trying to do the same thing, calling you money and evening, checking on you, doing all the whatever it was that they do to get your attention. You can get so hardened by past experiences. You're like, whatever you do, me, I'm not reading any meaning into this one until the day you come and you tell me and ask me something. I'm not seeing you, I'm not seeing anything, you know. So, apart from that, you can come to the place where you're like, you know what, I'm not reading meaning into anything that a guy does with me. And if it seems like he's giving me confusing signals, you know, if it, if it feels like he's blowing red and blowing white, like one of the stories in this book, the first guy, the first situation, he will check on me every morning, he will send me pictures, are you fine, are you this, are you that? And then when I would ask him directly, like, what do you want? He would mumble some nonsense and then disappear for like two days or three days. You see, like, sorry. We disappear for like two days or three days and then he will show up again on the fourth day, to call, fourth day to continue with the rubbish that he was doing. So if it feels like the person is giving double signals, like, what exactly is going on? Don't be afraid to clarify. I feel like sometimes, we like say Christian women, or women in general, you don't want to be seen as, in quotes, test. You don't want to be seen as desperate, desperate. or something. But standards is not desperation. Standards, setting standards, saying that this is what I want in my life and this is what I do not want in my life is not desperation. So I can set a standard that says that, see, I'm not ready or available for any merry-go-round in my relationship life. I'm not ready and I'm not available for anybody taking me on a ride. So if you are going to come into my life and I feel like you are taking me on a ride, I will ask you direct questions. Not in a rude way, but I would ask you direct questions to clarify. What exactly are we doing? Is there any intention in your heart? Is there any intention in your mind? And the answers that you give me, I will take them as your answers and put you where you should be based on the answers that you have given me. Like she has said, define the relationship. Is he here or is he there? I feel like one thing that situationships do for a lot of people is give a lot of confusion. You know? Mm -hmm. Confusion. It's just like, my goodness. Should I wait for his call? Should I not wait for his call? <laughs> should, I, should I call him? Should I not call him? <laughs> is this going somewhere or is this not going somewhere? Like, it's all... God is not an author of confusion. So clear. Clarity. Clear just be clear. Just be clear. Exactly. And don't be afraid. If it's not clarifying things, you clarify this. You ask the questions. The second situation should be here. That guy, after like four months, he said he was learning Jesus Christ from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. He's here. Chapter 2. This the, the one who to, said uh, I will take my he was learning Christ it. from me. No jokes. <laughs> Oga. Gassi was learning uh, please, Jesus can Christ. Can I check in something before I forget? <laughs> you see, women have biological clock. That's also one thing. So as for the man, he doesn't have any clock he's looking at. I don't know if you get it. But we, our age and, you know, our menstrual um, cycle and stuff like that and you know, you need to give birth early and stuff like that. So, so you time. don't want to. Don't Let's to define this. What are we doing? <laughs> don't be scared to. Why are we in it? So that is why the friendship is. If you build the friendship, it becomes easy. I mean, you are my friend. I can easily ask you something. Are you getting it? But if the friendship is not, that's why you go and rather confide in a friend. Hey, if I ask him, will he tell me this? No, build a friendship with him so that you tell him, Charlie, one day that you see he is in a good mood, then you chip in. What are we doing? Like, Charlie, what are we doing? Are we yeah, going you some... call me at this time. Yeah, you call me at this time. <laughs> Don't you know sometimes I'll be having dreams like God is speaking? Like, is there something? Let me know. Call me at Let me know. Don't, don't call me. No, I know they're in trouble. Who, who is it? Sometimes, <laughs> you know, they're well stereotyped. They are like, I was so with you. You were a woman. You have to. But Charlie, 
The man doesn't have biological clock. Oh. And he's and in the godly perspective, God doesn't see things from the worldly perspective. That's also another thing. So you are you you have God, you have the godly. Don't be looking at and eh, you have to no. Even when you see the call, don't pick. Wait for like ten minutes or to call, massa. You are not even being truthful to yourself. So sometimes you are looking at worldly. We have to wait a while. We have to. You see, I would say that pray hard to get. Don't play yes, like people say play hard yes. to, someone say play hard so you play so you continue playing you have to there's pray. wisdom instead like, of don't, playing it's not like asking yes. first one week or first two weeks trying to clarify first one week yes. or first two weeks no there's a wisdom he's going to chip it from the man's yes. side so, so that, that, I love he, that will man yes. you know? he will also chip yes he will also chip for me I feel like I there can be wisdom mm. Mm. when it comes to To lead us. Mm. You know, in the sense that you see someone who is handsome or beautiful. Because of the spiritual training, it is weak. You see the person who is beautiful, no, your mind just is like, I want to move in into her. You see the guy comes down from a nice guy looking handsome. You understand all. Oh, so mm. we allow the flesh to lead us. To mm. When we are so conditioned, and we understand that we really have to be spirit to move first. When those emotional things come, um, mm. we know that you know, we still spend from the place of the spirit before the flesh comes. Mm. And like we're talking about, it at the other time, you made, you made a big because of the relationship that we are focused and leads into for something that is not for fun, it's not for a game. Uh -huh. So if that's the motive and if that's the focus, of course you want God to lead you to make sure that you are making the right decision. Uh -huh. So once that God factor comes in, you realize that it cuts a whole lot of nonsense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because you know that this is not the one. So why now we do with time to mm -hmm. exactly the leaf of the spirit yes, within yes, as yes, well? It exactly. Yeah, yes. so true. That 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 even saves you. Yes. Uh, so you can yes. be very close and compatible with someone. Yes. And you have, you have yes. many things yes. to yes. But that does not mean you, you are, are two good to people, be. but you are not exactly. compatible. So in everything, whether it's business. Whether it's finance, whether in family, whether in once God becomes number one, and once God becomes priority of everything. Yes. So, so I think um, that that helps to solve a lot of things now. But most of the time, in the relationship, our emotions and our feelings seem to get the better part of us. And once that happens, we'll be so vulnerable. Both, both, both sides. And I said earlier, it looks as though women are the most vulnerable. You know, when you were talking about the love languages and what she was talking about experiences, I noticed that there are different kinds of communication, verbal communication and nonverbal communication. You can be looking at a certain lady, probably you go to class with from time to time, you've not spoken. But the way you guys look at each other, you've communicated. <laughs> the guy may not say, I love you. I want to be with you. But how he checks up and stuff. So that's why sometimes it looks like the ladies are vulnerable. But the kind of message through the calls and the checking up sends a message. You've not communicated. But that's also another way of communicating. So we have to also watch out for those things. But exactly. Mm -hmm. so you have to build a friendship know the personality person is phlegmatic maybe he doesn't talk too much he's a melancholy he doesn't talk too much so he has a way of conveying information to you so at the friendship level so the foundation of every relationship is important when you build a friendship and of course on god and let the spirit of god lead you so in that case you know 
the temperament maybe the person loves me but the person want to communicate it in this way so you've learned to know the person so you know the, the person's way of communication better than anybody outside you know your friendship you get it uh-huh so build a friendship let the person be your friend then you can take it to that step the next step uh-huh so it makes it easier for you to confine because as i said there are certain things that will be difficult for you to ask a stranger but will not be difficult to ask a friend uh -huh. so where you where you sit down and you rather go to a friend and say hey when i tell when i ask him this will he think this way then you, you have to know that the relationship hasn't gotten to the friendship level you don't even have any friendship or platonic thing to do with this person so you have to build a friendship then you move to the next level are you getting it uh -huh. so that was what i also wanted to convey that it has to do with personality differences i was also say when you're building the friendship like we've already said let it be defined so that friendship stage you know it is friendship stage a situation she basically is not defined it doesn't fall into friendship and it doesn't fall into relationship so if it is we are friends getting to know one another getting to understand one another let it be clear and there are certain things that friends don't do if you are my friend i will not be talking to you on midnight call up until 3 a.m or 4 a.m in the morning every day I don't understand that one has now moved beyond friendship they're talking about communication verbal and non-verbal communication a woman that is giving her four hours every night to a guy and that guy is still de deceiving himself and saying we don't have anything together a woman's ears is one of the focal parts of her <laughs> life and communication you know so let it be defined that's the thing let it be defined is this friendship clear is this you are getting to know me for the sake of a potent a possibility of something happening clear is this leading to marriage clear all the confusion that's what we're against confusion wasting of time rigmaroling here and rigmaroling there that's what we are saying should not be yeah and it shouldn't be let me end by saying this and then we'll give us space we'll be talking it should not be heard in the christian fold like this should not be amongst us as christians especially the guys i don't want it to seem like i have a vendetta against the guys but it's not just me like people have had stories where literally a girl was talking with a guy for four months a guy had already even said i love you this 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 you know bringing up and saying all sorts and then the day she asked him okay what are we doing and he's like oh we're just friends so <laughs> ah we're just friends so no 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 ah, ah. so why were you telling me i love you so it's like if we are christians let us be christians indeed it says one should not defraud the other don't don't defraud and defrauding is not just stealing money you are defrauding them by their emotions you are defrauding them by their vulnerability you are defrauding them by maybe she's in a vulnerable space maybe she's in a space where her heart is just clinging to something because she wants it so much you know that don't defraud her by going along when you know you don't have any intention don't do that you are a brother in christ he says to timothy say teach you treat the women as sisters treat what you will not want somebody to do to your sisters don't do it to them you in your mind you know that you are clear you don't have anything but you know that this lady may be thinking something else no matter how painful that conversation may be have it with her in a gentle clear understanding way and say i don't have any or any intentions towards you i don't so that if she continues to carry on it's not on you it's on her <laughs> so that that's fantastic um that's fantastic but so the last part that's where sometimes i was talking about how guys try to be smart so sometimes too, the guys 
you see, emotions are like that. When you take a hold of a person, uh, <laughs> it really, um, you really need the help of God to really break those things. Because when someone is into someone, the, you know, of course, I know that from God's word, we know that man is made of a spirit, a soul, and a body. You know, and in the soul, the seat of our emotions, our will, our intellect, where the mind is. And when your emotions are really running, and the guy may have told you that, I don't want him to have anything to do with you. I know he knows that you've been caught in a web. He knows that your emotions are in there now. And he knows that when he tells you, oh, I don't want to have anything to do with you, he knows that you are caught in. So some guy who, a guy who is maybe stubborn, we just say that so that in future you have a case to say, but I told you that, but you are still, you, you get the whole point. Yeah, exactly. But I told you that I was not interested, but you still wanted to. You understand? So all the points you've made are very fantastic. But like you rightly said, we have to take the ball, you know, into our own court. We have to be personally responsible. And finally, I like to say, like I keep hammering on, those, I'm not married, but you listen to people who are married, this is not a uh, um, 100 meter race, this is a marathon. So if you want to use few hours on phone and you're excited about it, to measure, um, yes, that you are going to be looking at a person in the same face, Listening to what is it really about that person that you are sure that when you live under the same roof with that person for as many years as possible, you will still have that same affection for that person. And sometimes I feel people don't really think deep. They don't they don't look at it in the years. They just because when you think about it that way, you, you save yourself. Because, <laughs> because you realize that no, this is just like some two hours talk, three hours talk, some four hours talk, and it's done. But you are looking at something beyond now. And this thing, uh, even in the secular world, a guy knows that this lady, I can stay with her forever. This lady, I cannot stay with her forever. It's clear. Exactly. It's clear. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So you, the lady, too, you have to um, think from that perspective and see that this guy, this gentleman, is this someone I can spend the rest of my 15 years with, 20 years with? Oh, me, I, me, I was waiting. I was waiting for you. I just, I just came to meet and I'm making a contribution. She's the one I was waiting for. She's the manager, Mina. <laughs> So I'm, 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 I'm wrapping up and I'll be okay. Okay, I'm um, sorry. I hope it doesn't affect <laughs> Yes, exactly. So, if you, the lady, the guy is giving you time, all right, he's giving you three hours, all right, he's giving you all that. But ask yourself, this guy, the kind of future I want, will I get it from him? So, if you realize that you are not getting that from him. Because you see, marriage is a very spiritual thing. Relationship is a very spiritual thing. I don't know why I'm talking about marriage, man, because all I know now is any reasonable relationship should have marriage as a otherwise why why do you want to go into the relationship at all? Yes, you see, good. They look at it, but then the guys because they are taking advantage of your emotions, they don't look at it the long term. You understand exactly. Exactly, exactly. So when you look at things like a guy can actually segment mind that says, Okay, this one we are just talking about having a good time. Yes, yes, right yes. Not that I have something yes, 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 right yes. Sometimes ladies have that too, but just that it's very predominant in in in, in guys, you know, for example, because when you are in uni um you see a lot of guys they know that you know sometimes they do like body count like this girl this girl this girl this girl and they know that after four years in school i'm never going to have anything to do with this kind of exactly you see and and this is a very important and i'm so happy you've written something about it because 
the the foundation of every nation is the family if you want to change a generation it starts from two people meeting so god is really interested in two people meeting satan is also too, very interested in two people meeting because what it costs to change a nation put a generation in a wrong path is two people so if they're coming together is wrong the foundation is wrong the foundation is what well, <laughs> exactly so when you treat relationship as a very um spiritual thing and a very serious thing how you act how you commit yourself you, they, they change they change even when you are going and the flesh is taking advantage you realize that no you you no no exactly but when you just look at it very casual like oh i just want to get to know her i don't get to know him he also gets to know me it might you know and then i just wanted to chip in maybe it's something i think about i strongly believe that going to marriage yes you should be someone you should know friendship you know and stuff like that and as christians living with the friendship i think we can really zone it down because sometimes someone can be in a methodist church and someone can be in a charismatic church they are all christian so but realize that maybe that charismatic church the person goes to church and come back five maybe the other church which is not maybe charismatic they will go and close in two hours or three hours they are all christians they are all friends but realize that the compatibility may not really be strong someone may say that my man of god said this you know I say? my man of god said this so all of those things they, they begin to like you're already saying they begin to map out your path and zoning into the friendship stuff exactly and and that is important that that thing takes place even from the time that you guys are beginning you see exactly 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 and i wanted to also add that because i know examples of people who are married they didn't really they were not friends for long but the pastor said i think this lady is good for you and that they got married and they've been married till now uh -huh. so sometimes too there might be some little exception so when we highlight the lead of the spirit and the move of the spirit it makes things much easier and more specific. And the person you are speaking to has a standard. He knows what he wants. He knows, oh, you know what? I'm ready for marriage, but this is not the woman that I want. This is not the woman that I want. You two set your own standards. Who you want from the beginning, from your interactions. Your interactions are not just, oh, okay, let's just see how it goes. And I, I noted one of my mistakes with those second situationship actually had asked the guy what's going on i was like let's just keep it rolling let's just keep it rolling i should have at that time if i was and i think i had standards but i bent a little bit i was a bit oh, okay let me not let me not be like i'm very i'm just so let me just and it didn't end well so set the standards and stick stand by the standards stick by the standards say no when he said that let's just keep it rolling my quick info would have been that i'm not at a stage of my life where i'm keeping things rolling i'm at a stage of my life if you want to take time go and pray i go and pray we come back and know what we are doing fine but this let's see at you i'm not 21 i'm not 22 i'm not 18 i'm not 19 where they where they go where the body <laughs> you too set your standards if a man can be clear to know that i want this woman i don't want this woman you too can be clear i want this i don't want this not just okay maybe i want this man but i don't want this man that plays circles around me i don't want confusion in my life i don't want somebody joking with me i don't want so you know you set your standards and be clear about it and i'm going to end by saying there's a part in this book where i shared about the first guy that had done that whole thing with me one particular day we were talking when he was doing the spiritual abuse of he would call me for calls for prayer calls i remember that they were prayed and then he had said i think i said i miss you or something and then he pretended that's the only way i can think about it he pretended as if somebody was calling his name like ah somebody's calling my name and then i was like oh it's my father it's my father you will you, you see the stories all year 
no spoilers go and get your copy it's like it's my f- e- e-copy hard copy amazon seller it's yeah. there it's like it's my father it's my father and i remember just being so pained because the scripture that came to me was you know there's a scripture that says that with the shrewd like with the cunning i will show my show myself cunning there are people who are cunning people who are shrewd they know what they are doing but they just behave and i remember just saying to god i was like god this is not what i asked of from you I, I did not ask for this. I asked for somebody that is clear, certain about me and ready to go along on the journey. Not this. And I remember God just saying to me so clearly, ask him what he wants. Like, be direct. Don't go. You are, he's doing that, but you are giving him an allowance to do what he's doing. Being not so decision, like, I don't want this in my life. What do you want? Is it this? Is it that? If it's not this, then please go. You know, and God had to enforce that in me. So I think I'll just end on that note. Like, set standards. Set standards. Guys, you are not the villain. But for those of you who have done this, please stop. (laughs) Learn how a woman thinks. Learn how a woman feels. Learn how your actions, even though they may be innocent, may be bearing on a woman's emotions. And when you know that don't keep going along you know guys joke with all sorts of things one was joking with me recently yeah we need to come and talk to your people i'm like come and tell my people what what does that mean why would you why would you be joking with something like that and then when i now if i ask you clearly and i say oh it was just a joke why would you be joking with some like a guy is a guy a girl is a girl there are things that you don't do like you to be a man of principle you to be a man that says you know what i'm not going to be the reason why any woman is crying to god and saying this man hurts me no i'm not going to be the reason why so watch yourself watch your actions watch your attitude watch your emotions watch your behavior and finally go and get lessons from my situation adventures we'll leave each person to give one minute words each last <laughs> so i wanted to end end with the foundation of everything when you start something like scripture like scripture would say if you if you build on a harder ground or in a rock it will stand than when you build on a sand or you know a shaky area or something so every foundation or the foundation of every building is very much important and the foundation of every relationship is important be true to yourself and be true to the person you are with some people start with lies it doesn't end well bible says that by by their fruits you shall know them as you go along don't as a woman don't let your emotions and cloud you because the the men most of them observe a lot so you also have to be observant because you are studying yourself in the courtship um, stage so as he is studying you study him don't be clouded with so much feelings and emotions study him is this someone i can live and respect because we men are always looking at respect so from the woman's angle you have to look at is it a man i can love and respect you see in genesis scripture says that god took the rape of a man and placed it in eve so there should always be something compatible you might not be the same but it should be someone you answer to it should be someone on whose authority you listen to i don't know if you, get, you have to marry someone you respect if you don't respect the person even in relationship you it's better you quit than you continue to marry because you will never respect the person so there's some kind of authority that god placed in that woman in, for that woman to live with that man that's why sometimes they would say that you cannot submit the scripture makes us that the women have to submit but there is a kind of man god has made compatible to you that you can submit to if you don't if you get the wrong man you can never submit and you can never respect the person and you are in for danger that marriage will never start it will just be like the building on that shaky foundation so you build on a strong foundation and know who you are with and who is truly pray about it pray about it listen there are a lot of things that even may happen in the relationship the man i married now we, we were even we broke up at some point if i tell you it's a long story but because it is god and i kept praying i didn't let emotions no 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 not at all let prayer lead you let the spirit of god lead you and everything 
everything will be okay. It, it will not be perfect, but he's just the perfect one for you to ride your storms. So when the storm comes, you know the one you are in the boat with. So regardless of the storm, look, listen to the peace within and the person you are with. But if the storms are happening and the person is also giving you troubles, how can you stand? But if you stand as a team, then you can face the storm. So it is not all smooth, but there are ups and downs. So know the person you are with, know who you are going into that level with, and let it be a godly relationship built on a rock, not on a shaky foundation. And all will go well. Thank you. So reach out to young people and clarify relationships and situationships and let them come into God's own godly relationships for their lives. So you can get a copy of this. You can call. I'll put a Ghanaian number in the comment section below. You can purchase a copy. Purchase for friends, guys and girls alike. It is what's the word okay just send me a dm i'll put the number below send me a dm get a copy and god bless you thank you coming